know, you know what, you know, you're gonna turn into a nigga real quick, man. You gonna, there, will, there will be no remnants of Hebrew in you. <laughs> right. That's right, man. Yep. There ain't gonna be no remnant of, of a Hebrew in you. Man, are gonna be calling you know me like, oh, scriptures. I don't know the Bible. <laughs> Bible, man, I ain't into that. Then they're gonna pull up, yeah, but you know, we got you here. I ain't into that Bible stuff. You know, because the, the tribulation, you ain't gonna wanna die for it, man. You ain't gonna wanna die for it, man. You're gonna take that chip. Okay? Because at the end of the day, your thing is to save your life in this world. Whereas we're trying to save our spirits, man. That's, That's right. It. That's it. That's right. Man. We're laying up our treasures in heaven, man. So if you gotta die to do that, then do it. You guys are actually trying to save your life in this world, man. That's the it's question I would ask them, man. Once you've built your crystal cathedral and you got your jobs, what are you gonna do when the Lord comes back? What, are you gonna still work for the so called way? You still gonna go to your crystal cathedral? You might as well hasten the day, man. Hope for, hope for a better world. You, you ain't got shit here, man. That's it. You ain't got shit here, man. You can't, you can't be a Hebrew in this man's society, man. And we want to be Hebrews. That's it. Hey, man, tell, tell Pharaoh you're a Hebrew, man. He'll put you to death. <laughs> you know, just like in Egypt, man. He'll put you to death, man. That day, you're going to refuse, you know, you're going to accept the fact that, you know, oh, he's alive. You know, you're going to deny what that is. You know what I mean? You, you guys came in with the mentality that you're trying to still establish Establish yourself as somebody in this world, man. He was looking to be somebody. Yeah, to be an Israelite in this world is to be the lowly, to be low. And you ain't, because this ain't our kingdom, you ain't really going, you got to understand one thing and it's truth, right? A lot of what we deal with is mental and spiritual. Because we can't actually act out being what we want to be because this ain't the kingdom of heaven, man. This is the white man's kingdom. Case on point. If it was up to me, Nobody would be working on the Sabbath. I wouldn't have to work on the yeah. Sabbath. Yeah. But this is this is not my kingdom, man. If it was up to me, everything would be set up to keep the laws, man. 100%. That's what's going to be like in the kingdom of heaven. Ain't not going to be no, you know? But these guys are trying to build a kingdom of heaven here. It's impossible. So in you, they, their kingdom of heaven is not really the kingdom of heaven that's in the scriptures. They're just trying to be a Hebrew American. And that's all right. As long as they got some women, some stank hole. Look man, you might have your woman and all that. Now you've been your woman for a while, fine and all that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day man, you, come on man, your woman, you can't be what you want to be with your woman in this world. Yeah. You never will be man. Because you got demons to fight and all that shit man. That's the reality man. Come on man. You ain't gonna be, if, you're, if you truly want to be that man that the Lord wants you to be, that means you must be hastening the day because we can't be, what we seek is perfection. And you cannot achieve perfection in this world. The perfection is going to come in the next world. So how can we be happy here? That's why we're seeking for a kingdom to come. But we're building ourselves up, man, so in them turbulent times we can withstand, man. And a lot of you guys, you're going to listen to this, this is going to be this is something you don't want to listen to. You want to listen to the good stuff. You don't want to listen to the, you, want, you know, you want to listen to the easy stuff. But guess what? What we're saying is easy, man. It's easy to try, to try to make it out here in this world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> God. Hey, man. God. All you got to do is study the scriptures, keep the faith. Hey, the Lord said, the Lord said, um, uh, my statue is not grievous. That's one. There's another one as well where the Lord said, my... Read really that quickly. Yeah, go on. Second Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down strongholds, casting down the imaginations and every high thing that is over itself against the knowledge of God. I bring it into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Can we dwell in the world where you know everything is against the Lord? This whole vibration this world is under, man, is, is in tune, ain't in tune with us, man. We can't be perfect in this world, man. It's an impossibility. It's 
an impossibility, you know? And that's why we seem to go to come after. Okay, we're, we're in 20 fresh, man. That's why this king is not our kingdom. Okay, it never has been, man. We were in captivity, man, under Satan. On the so-called white man. Okay, and we got to deal with all this, all this tribulation, but like we're saying, a lot of it is mental, man. A lot of it is spiritual. It's not, it's not a carnal fight. We're not, we're not here carnally fighting people, man. Hey, things are difficult to do, man. What did you say? No? You don't have to read it, man. So it's having in a readiness to revenge or disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're being obedient right now. Okay? So we gotta do all the things we do with all that tribulation, man. We just have to suck it up, man. If the brothers go here, you just have to suck it up and continue moving on. But like brother saying, we're being built up, man, built up in the spirit. Okay? Because there's brothers that, you know, they were built to a certain level, man, but you know, the Lord saw flaws in them still. Okay? And they're cast off. So the brothers go back out into the world, man. I, think, I say brothers to lock you, but you know, they're no longer brothers, man. They were, they were never brothers. Okay, they were cast back out. And the kingdom of heaven is being built right now, man. And the Lord wants to put, you know, blocks, the righteous blocks, the elect, to build up the kingdom. And it starts with the men. Okay? Hey, that, hey, that's right, man. You know? Um, hey, this scripture here, man, Matthew 11 and, um, and 28. It says, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Now a lot of you, a lot of you niggas come into this Israelite thing, you're not fleeing the labor of this world, man. This is, you come into this thing, you go, you gonna see the world as the burden. <laughs> you know, having to go work, you know, you know dealing with the, your boneheaded family members. The burden ain't the word. Is the word isn't the problem, it's the world. That's right. That's the problem, man. So you niggas are seeing you see the word as the problem and uh, so you kind you try and lighten instead of you know easing back on the world, you see you cut bits out of the word to incorporate the world, man. So even even simple things like you know things like Sabbath man. You know what's in the scriptures? It's not convenient for you. So I'm gonna have a whole Sabbath this day. You know, oh, well, you we can do that. You can that. do that. You know, but yeah. when you're really bucking up against the scriptures, though, yeah, that's, that's the problem. Because yeah. really, you want to you want to see it like you're, you know, that's yeah. pride and that's pride, that's pride, man. Pride. Yeah, because if pride. you want to keep the Sabbath Friday sun and the Saturday sun on because that's a day you're not working, you want to rehearse that righteous act. By all means, man. We, we, you know what can we? The scripture says, judge no man. But then when you're coming and saying that biblically. Now that's when we got a problem. That's when we got hold on. Wait, and you try and make yourself look righteous from that. And you know that, that the scripture pride is not made for, for wasn't made for men. You know, like basically, pretty much, man. These guys, you know, they ain't dealing with they ain't dealing with this like it's a duty, man. Oh no. And, and uh, you know, basically, we're in this. The scripture says that we're supposed to serve the Lord, man. That was the, that's the duty of man. So we ain't, we're really supposed to be getting it hundred percent. You got a problem with this? We say hundred percent truth. Well, you're supposed to be striving for that. It always says um. And be perfect in um, Matthew 5 and, um, um, and the Lord himself is perfect. Yeah, man. So, you know, that's that's like, that's pretty much what we're supposed to be doing. You know, I mean, you, but you guys don't see it that way for some strange reason because you're proud, like the scripture. You think you're dead? Yep, you yep. think you're perfect already, man? Yep. Well, you think you're without blemish, man. Nate goes on about the law like he keeps the the law and he's perfect without blemish, man. You know, when we all know it's impossible. A good example of that is when they made that song. We are Israel, mighty, mighty Israel. Like the, all them camps, like I think it's, it's a buck in that. Well, you're actually not. You know, you actually ain't mighty. You know, the Bible says what Jacob thou work. So if you used to actually check out like the actual conditions that you're living in and your, your current uh, uh, situation, you that, that that was a lie. That's well, you actually know, a lie, man. That's that nigger mentality. Yeah. You know that? That's that hip hop. Yeah. Shit. Um, but that's the mentality of a nigga, man. A nigga always gonna um, elevate his mind frame or elevate his status above that which he actually is, man. He, he, you know that like, a nigga living in the ghetto, but he's gonna put on like he's something more than he's not. Or a nigga, a nigga sell some some weed on on the block. A nigga um. A nigga, um, a nigga, uh, uh, um, basically, like, run a couple of niggas on a block, and he'll think he runs the whole of London, man. That's how he'll act, because he's not, he'll boast himself above that which he is, man. Like the brother's saying, man. 
a bit rowdy today, but yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That's a sprint, man. I think I'm gonna take that. Yeah. 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 Sometimes you know, smile is funny, you know. <laughs> Hey, you got, you got, it was good. Oh, I was going to say, it's not really on there. Hey, Nelly, uh, anyway. Um, Matthew 11 and um, 28. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Oh, going into the laughing. That's a burden on us, man. The, the, the ourselves, man, our wretchedness, man. That's a burden on us, man. That's why we're seeking unto this, this because the Lord is going to alleviate the burden of wickedness and sin from us, man. You know what I'm saying? Say yeah, that scripture and the, the, and the spirit is willing, but the flesh, the flesh is weak. Is weak. Yeah, man, that's true. Man. Yeah, that, that's what keeps you humble in this thing, man, because you realize that you ain't that guy, man. You ain't your hour shy, man. That's why we're, we're really humble, man. Because we know, man, we aren't going to make it through the, the, the blessings and the mercy of God. Man. You know what I mean? Romans 1 This is Matthew chapter 26 verse 41. Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit is indeed. That's another thing, man. Like, you know, us, like, the sincere brothers at GMS, man, like, we actually watching for the, the signs of the end. And we're praying that we, we you know, we be found worthy, man. In that day, man, we ain't under chariots yet. You know, so this is a battle, man. We actually, you know, we actually ain't shit, man. So we got, you know, we're trying to make ourselves clean, man. The scripture says, um, the fuck is wrong with these motherfuckers, man? The fuck, man? Motherfuckers. Demons out here today, man. All kinds, all kinds. Hey, maybe it's because um, they opened the school. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> just, but, um, yeah, man, so, you know, we ain't under chariots yet, man. You know, you might as well be you know, um, uh, Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Laws that we was given them, the holy laws, man. We actually went off on those, man. We couldn't keep them perfect, so we we, we, we was found worthy through the blood of your whole shy going on the on the cross, man, and shedding the blood. And that's the main thing, man. A lot of you guys, that's that's why a lot of you guys really think you're better than your whole shy, man. You know, like this general Johanna guy is the only man worthy, and if you don't come under the commanding general or camps. You know, commanding general, the man of set up. That's that's not in the scriptures, man. You know, your heart, the blood of Yahweh Shai is in the scriptures. He was an intercessor between us and the Most High. That's in the scriptures. You know, that's 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 righteousness there, man. You know, and and, and you know when we pray, you know they they, they they carry our prayers, the angels and all that, and Yahweh Shai to bring it to the Most High, man. You know, so we're we're still praying for mercy, man. A lot of you guys, you don't believe in that. You don't. You're not. You're not humble, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you're proud to be an Israelite. You're not honest, man. That's like right. Brother said, man. You're proud to be an Israelite, man. And that pride leads you up into this place, man. That's why you don't be coming out in the winter, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, that snow dummies video that Baloo did. That's wickedness, man. A man's gonna be out there in the snow and you're gonna mock that man. You're a faggot, man. That's right. You're a faggot. You know. Yeah, yeah but if he had to. If you didn't make a video about the people that wait for the fucking PS2s, the, the, the camp out all night, all week and shit, did you talk about that? But bro, I know for a fact, he, they, uh, yeah, he might come out and say, hey, but I, not a fact, but I do believe he's a bus driver. Now, I don't care whatever your job is, man. I know for a fact that if your, if your job told you to work on a day that is snowing, man, you gonna get that double pay? Yes, sir, he going to be there. You better believe, man. All you niggas out there that call yourself not teaching the word because you're saying it's snowing or it's cold and it's the winter, I know you go to work in the winter. And I know if you were getting paid to go out there, you'd be doing it, man. Let's say, let's say that someone contacted you and said, you know what, man, I'll donate 25 grand to you if you go out there and teach in the winter. Man, you're going to see a guy every Saturday, man. That's a brand new Audi right there. And you know what that means. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's the truth. All you guys need to look deep in within yourself and ask yourself, are you really about this, man? Are you really ri riding for this thing? Because really, 
It ain't that much to go out there and during the winter, man. And if you can't even do that, then how the hell are you going to stand in that day, man? How are you going to stand up for the Lord in fear of your life when you can't stand up for the Lord in fear of your general comforts? Because being cold is uncomfortable. That's right, man. Which we're uncomfortable out here they, in the they, summertime. They, they feel the cold more than they feel you feel you have a show, man. You know, they're the ones and losers and yeah. But you know, you know that shit. Man. Yeah, you wanna you wanna mock you wanna mock yeah. that the boys out, out in the cold and that man. But then you then you mock the, all the boys that came before us, man. You know, John the Baptist that was wearing you know camel hair garments and eating locusts, man. You mock at that. Or, or Jeremiah or Isaiah that was um, walking around naked, man. You know, you would mock that, man. Hey, we're going like balloon, man. Yeah, they don't want to They're always going to have a problem with something. Man. Stumbling blocks. Exactly. Well, his stumbling block is because balloon knows that he fell out. And he's fulfilling the scripture where it says that they shall begin to beat their fellow servants. Um, they say the Lord delayeth his coming. That was you, balloon. You fell out, man. <laughs> you just fulfilled that scripture. And now you're beating your fellow servants who carried on doing the work while you took time off man to get right with your woman and all that man anyway Matthew 11 and 29 this is what the Lord said take my yoke upon you when you come into this truth this truth is like a yoke Right? It's like a yoke. That's why the scriptures speak about the prisoner of Yahweh Shai. We're servants, we're slaves. The Lord said, take that yoke, right? Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. And I am meek and lowly in heart. Because the Lord, hey, when you read about the Lord, man, the Lord was both sides of the coin. The Lord would give you an order, but the Lord was humble at the same time. He was compassionate. The Lord was a man of compassion. When you read the scriptures, the Lord had that balance, man. Like when the people were hungry and that, the Lord, the Lord didn't say, "Oh, fuck them, man." You know, them motherfuckers are hungry. I don't give a fuck, man. Go, you know, walk home. You know, no, the Lord said, "Man, the people are hungry. They're gonna be fasting." The Lord knew, man. They go, you know, hey, man. Let me break open these these um these these loaves of bread and give them something to eat. So the Lord showed compassion and lowliness. The Lord made himself a servant onto the people for their salvation not his own you know so the lord the lord was, was lowly with it man the lord's meek man that's the kind of man you you would you serve a humble king but he, that's why you, you do what he says man but the lord don't take the piss the lord ain't told us to go out there on a saturday and jump on one leg because if he, he could he could say yeah you brothers go out there in the scriptures go out there on a on a saturday jump on one leg for five hours. The Lord never said that. He just said teach the word. And you know what's funny, man? The scripture says, there are these people, these, like you guys forget this scripture where it says, the Lord said, I could take the stones and raise up sons of Abraham, man. So really, the Lord don't really need us, man. You know? That, that's a scripture, the cup prize, man. You know, like, you know, that you have a camp sound. Exactly. He said that you can actually get stones. The Lord can do that. You can get stones and just make that turn into an Israelite, man. <laughs> hey, we, we were just fortunate to be chosen. That's it. We were fortunate to be chosen, man. Ain't nothing you did or didn't do, man. We were just fortunate. Okay, so there's no, there's no reason to act like act like you're the, the mighty, mighty Hebrews and that kind of stuff, man. You are nothing, man. Until the Lord comes back and establishes you, we ain't, we ain't shit. To do those things, you know? Oh, man, I'm starting to hate them other camps, man. Camps, man. And all you camps out there that have come to England and all that, you know, you guys, man, I, you know, you guys, man, you know, fuck you guys, man. You know, fuck all of you guys, man. Fuck you, man. You know, fuck you, man. Okay. Hey man, hey, let me, let these other camps, they hurt them as hell man, because they're, they're counterfeits man, they're fakes man, no one likes a counterfeit man, a fake. You know what I mean? You read this Titus 1 and 1, it says, Paul, a servant of the Most High, and an apostle of Yehoshai, according to the faith of God's elect, and the acknowledging of the truth, which is after godliness, in hope of eternal life. Um, which the most high that cannot lie promised before the world began and that's what we're hoping for man and the scripture says we made a spectacle unto angels and that man yeah. so you know what he's saying we ain't got the glory yet man 
We got the glory at niggas, man. Hey, it's good to tell you we're, we're fools for your Howard Shire's sake. Yeah, exactly. We're just fools, man. You know, we're just here playing our roles that we, we, we've been given. Okay? Like I said, it's not because we're anyone special. We're just the Lord chose us to do this, do this for him. The word is special. That's right. That's why you got to look at it. The word is precious, man. And you're, you're grateful to be a part of this on, on the right side. But a lot of you guys, man, like I said, you guys that are just going around going, Judah! <laughs> and all that shit, man. Any guy that's doing all that shit, man, on camera and shit, you them getting their, their corn, corn, corn and bunions rubbed and scrubbed and shit. What's, what's that all about? How is that edifying um, the flock? It's not the most important thing is building a. You want to build a nation without a foundation. <laughs> that's what you're doing. Hey man, next you'll be seeing them getting pedicures done and shit. Now that it's getting was a paid. Fucking pedicure, bro. <laughs> The Hebrew is like so long, man. Next, next, next. <laughs> IUIC, so you should have a cat at the camp. IUIC in in the salon, man. You know that's what you, that's what you should call your account that. Or IUIC groomed. Cause they using that scripture saying about you. <laughs> saying them, don't be a bum. I seen one picture. It says, don't be a bum. It's got one of their men getting a lineup. Oh yeah, I've seen that. Seen that. Seen don't that. be a bum. You know. Real men are groomed and all that, oh, and it shows him getting that. Little, the lineup isn't yeah. grooming, Barbara, man. Really? Exactly. Grooming is just combing, man. Combing the shit. That, that's not because that's in the scriptures where the guy came before the king, and he wasn't because he basically came before the king. He didn't comb because we comb, man. We comb our hair and stuff. What's wrong with you, man? We're men. We're not animals. But at the end of the day, it's about the truth. I mean, sometimes you might come out rough and ready. So fucking what, man? Yes. Yeah. So what, man? Hey, that brother did it. When he had to go before the king, he came, came up raw. Yep. But the, the king didn't say, oh, he'll put him to death. He's not a man. No, he was, he was king David, I was absent, wasn't it, at the time? He, he, he was run out. He was being privy chef, one of Saul's sons. And obviously, he hadn't shaved the whole time the king was away, man. So when you he, when he see him, it's like, why is thou not trim, trim the beard, man? Groomed yourself, man. They ain't talking about lineups and shit. Yeah, man. You know, not, and, and, and to be bold as hell to put up a poster like that, man, yeah. just to, to, to send the man off like that, man. Wicked. You know, what kind of ridiculous is that? Niggas, man. The fuck you niggas, man. And then this niggas running around saying, oh, it's an organized nation. So he's running with that gimmick. You know, you just you mentioned about about the structure. He's actually trying to run with the gimmick of they've got their structured, you know. Um, you know, we get the men, we groom the men, that's what they said. You know, we fix them up, clean them up, put them in boots. We got them marching down the road and shit, man. Say, man. Of course they're structured, man. They're part of the, the current government, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Of course they are, man. Hey, and they nigga sold out, man. <laughs> That's why you come to the UK. Sorry, do you know which, which side is JD Sports? It's down there, it's down there. Oh, down there, yeah? Cheers, thank you very much. Yeah, it's a cult. All these other groups are based upon the cult of personality, man. Of, of, of a guy building up an image of himself. The apostles don't give a fuck about image, they give a fuck about substance, man. So we, we respect the apostles because of their word and their doctrine and their actions and deeds, which we all see and know. You, you worship Nate based upon something he's not, man. You think he's the great Nate when he's not. He's not great. And the commanding general, that's the, if that's not a cult of personality, it's a commanding general. Yeah, he's not just a general, he's the commanding general. That's a cult of personality. They're looking at this guy like he's God, man. That's right. You know, you know, like he's really doing it, but if he was out there actually doing it like that, but he ain't, he ain't nowhere to be found, man. <laughs> he's doing a radio show and that's it. Yeah, it's like the Lord told Peter, man, feed my sheep, man. That's, 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 that's all that matters, man. It ain't about what your garments are doing. And doing it in a bus, said it three times. Three times, that's the most important thing. It ain't about what garments you got, man. Johanna said you can do it in a butt, man. Yeah, you know, he said that. Bastards. Can't forget no, no. about that. He's making, a commanding making, anal. Making up his own doctrine. <laughs> the commanding <laughs> anal. Yeah, he's shutting up. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. hey we're going to run out of, um, you know, hey, man, but that's spiritual food, man. All praise on to Yabashem, Yabashem. You know, the ones in the apostles. Sure, sure.